To begin, open up the Outdoor Kitchen Tutorial Drawing and click the Landscape tab. Choose the Split View option to see both 2D and 3D side by side. Use the Zoom tool and set a view closer in on the patio. The easiest way to add an outdoor kitchen is to add one from the Furnishings Library. Select the Exterior Library and Outdoor Kitchens. A variety of pre-configured outdoor kitchens have been created to place into the design. Drag it over to the workspace and release to place it into the drawing. You can add to either the 2D or 3D view. In this case, we will use the 2D view. Use your mouse and cursor or the arrow keys to reposition it where needed in the design. You may wish to create your own outdoor kitchen or add additional cabinets as well. Click the Outdoor Cabinet tool. Choose from the cabinet styles. We'll choose the ice chest cabinet. You can customize the size of the cabinet at any time. Just left click to place it in the drawing. This is similar to an island cabinet that you would place indoors. Now we'll choose the refrigerator cabinet. Place one on both sides of the ice chest cabinet. Select it, use the arrow keys to nudge it in the position. You can assemble these custom cabinets by switching out different components on the doors, like doors, drawers, and so on. But you can also accessorize them as well. Access the Outdoor Kitchen Library again. Choose the Beer tab. Select it, drag and drop it over the cabinet in the 3D view. If needed, use your arrow keys to nudge it in any direction. You can also rotate it using the Rotate tool or in Tool Options, enter in a new angle. In this case, 180 degrees. We just placed three new cabinets. They will be added using a default set of materials. To make the materials match the outdoor kitchen, click the Find Materials tool and click on the face of the outdoor kitchen. The material will be found and displayed. Drag and drop the material onto the new cabinets. Smart One will appear with options. Choose All Exterior Cabinets. Do the same for the countertop and then do the same for the backsplash. To flip the row of cabinets around, First, select the cabinets and the beverage tab. Like other objects, you can press the left mouse button and drag around them to select them. You can also make a selection by selecting one, holding the shift key, and selecting more. With the rotate tool, rotate the selection around 180 degrees. You can select a cabinet and nudge, or adjust its location at any time. The custom cabinet has special properties that you can adjust as needed. If we select the countertop, you'll see you have control over the countertop thickness and depth. You can define the height of the backsplash, the depth, left, right, and so on. The back depth is the depth of the bar top. So we'll set the depth of the bar top, or back depth, for each of the three cabinets to 8 inches. Don't forget to press Enter to enter that value after you've changed it. Change your view to full 3D view. Set whatever view you would like, and do a final render from the 3D menu to get a better view of our new outdoor kitchen that we just created.